These faithfuls have spent close to two weeks on the road, trekking more than 300 kilometers from their home church in Barara district. We met them in Naria, about two kilometers to Namgongo Mata's shrine, enduring the scorching sun, many of them sweating, while others nursing swollen feet. But what others perceive as a painful and hectic experience to these pilgrims, it is a price worth paying for a spiritual blessing. We are sweating because they died for their religion and we support them so that in the future, when we are not in this world, they are praying for us so that we join our Creator in heaven. With the encouragement of spiritual songs, they faithfully continue with the journey to be part of thousands who will congregate on third joy. At their final destination, hundreds have already arrived from within and out of the country. The spiritual mood is also high as the faithful sang their vocal cords out in praise to God. While others continued in prayer and supplication, some are dead asleep, probably after hours of walking. Preparations are also in high gear, especially at the altar, where the clergy will be seated while conducting the service come Monday. It is also a mic check for the sound men to ensure that all goes as planned. Security at the shrine also remains tight ahead of the celebrations. We have also people who have come with different intentions. Maybe they have not come for this. Thieves also, they are here. We are with them, but monitoring and observing. This story is the same at the Anglican Shrine. Preparations are also ongoing. It is at this spot that 13 martyrs were burned to ashes after they deferred Kabaka Mwanga's orders to follow the Christian faith. Monuments have since been put up to remember these fallen heroes who braved the fire, which has since become a key foundation of the Christian faith in Uganda. Reverend Mike Waswa is the deputy principal of the Anglican Shrine. He tells me that this year's celebrations will be conducted by the Uganda Christian University and that the expectations are very high. We have received reports. There are people coming outside Uganda. There are those from Rwanda. There are those who are coming from Tanzania. There are those who are coming from Kenya. There are even those who are coming from abroad. And we're expecting so many people, not only from abroad, even within our country here, from different parts of Uganda to come here in worship, in remembrance of these great sons of Uganda who died for the faith. He also believes that the death of the martyrs is something to ponder about. There is a lesson you can also learn from these people. As believers, we need to get committed despite the challenges and the trials we face as human beings. Prayer sessions have already begun here at Namugongo Matters Shrine and just right behind me is a group from Ibanda who are currently in Namas. This year's celebrations will be hinged on John 15:15. Simply where Jesus was saying, I don't call you servants, but I do call you friends. Many people are expected to come, and by 3rd June, a lot and much more is expected. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.